I'm Don Karcher, president of the College of American Pathologists. I want to take a few moments to discuss the CAP's recent actions regarding the Food and Drug Administration's regulatory oversight of laboratory-developed tests. The CAP has filed an amicus brief in U.S. District Court against the FDA and its regulation of LDTs. Earlier this year, the FDA finalized the LDT regulation despite objections from the CAP and pathologists across the country. The CAP still opposes the LTT rule and remains concerned that the FDA is moving ahead with an oversight plan without the necessary changes to ensure both patient safety and access to accurate and innovative testing. Following the release of the final regulation, the American Clinical Laboratory Association and the Association for Molecular Pathology filed lawsuits against the FDA. The lawsuits have since been consolidated as both groups are seeking to stop implementation of the rule. The CAP's amicus brief agrees that the court should vacate the regulation because the FDA acted arbitrarily and capriciously in violation of federal rulemaking statute. The CAP had communicated its concerns to the FDA prior to the release of the regulation and urged the agency to take a different approach. However, the FDA moved forward, and now pathologists and their laboratories are having conversations about which LDTs will no longer be available to patients in their communities. The FDA's failure to come to grips with the obvious ramifications for patients of the LDT regulation clearly renders the rulemaking arbitrary and capricious. When the court issues its ruling, the CAP further urges the court to avoid suggestions that LDTs constitute the practice of medicine. The CAP has emphasized that the states and not the federal government are primarily responsible for regulating medical practice. Finally, I want to assure CAP members that we will continue to advocate for better and more effective ways to provide oversight of LDTs that protect patients, allow for these innovative tests to continue to be developed and offered to patients, and are the least burdensome and costly for laboratories. As has been the case for more than a decade, we remain strongly engaged on this issue. Please feel free to reach out to me on this matter at any time via email. My email address is president at cap.org. Thank you.